endpoint detection and response in short like EDR systems take endpoint protection to another level and provide some automation to the base functionality of the endpoint protection platforms. In this video, we will learn about the EDR solutions, the base functionality and a simple response to a threat. We will also learn how to detect suspicious files using virus tootle in Wahoos. So Wahoos is an open source endpoint detection and response system built on top of the ELK or the Elastic stack, which is a combination of Elastic for search functionality, Kibana for analytics and data processing, and Logstash for the data collection uh, concept. We will also learn about um, remediating a reported file with Windows Defender. Windows Defender is an inbuilt endpoint protection platform for Windows uh, operating systems. And this video, it, we are going to divide it into two parts. One is the detection and the other one is the response. So we shall quickly start with the concept of detecting suspicious files with um, Wahoo's uh, system. So the moment you log in, you will be able to see the agent status. So Wahoo's is a server agent kind of an architecture, like you have your server and all the agents basically send the logs to the server and all the event correlation, log aggregation, everything happens at the server end. So right now you can see we have one agent and we have already opened the Wahoo's agent manager, which will be uh, a small .exe file that runs on your Windows operating system. Now, what we're going to do is basically the first concept is we are going to talk about detection. So Wahoo's agent manager is configured in such a way that the configuration file resides in the agent side. So if you see this, you will open the OSSEC uh, configuration file and you will be able to see all the configuration that has been done. So for example, uh, the server is going to be Wahoo's lab, Wahoo's.lab. We are going to communicate on 1514 port which is a TCP. Uh, we are going to use an encryption method, which is AES, advanced encryption method. Uh, we have our time to reconnect every 60 seconds. We have auto restart. So we have all the features, like what events are we collecting? What event IDs are we collecting? We can change them according to our requirement. And we also have um, the policy monitoring, security configuration assessment, and so many other things. So one thing we are most interested in in this particular topic of detection is basically the file integrity monitoring or FIM. So FIM uses something called a syscheck and syscheck is currently uh, disabled. So what we're going to do is we're going to enable the syscheck and look for any suspicious files in our operating system. Before we go any further, let's try to understand how the Wahoo's uh, file integrity monitoring system works. So let's imagine this has a module and what this does is basically it watches the selected files and directories and triggers an alert when these files are modified. And as we already discussed, the component which does this is called syscheck. And this component, what it does is basically it stores all the cryptographic checksums of a file or Windows registry key and regularly compares it with the current file. So if any file gets modified, immediately it triggers an, uh, an alert. And it continuously watches on the um, for the changes on all the files that we add in the files and the directories section of this syscheck. So now what we're going to do is, for the demonstration purpose, we are going to add an entry of a directory like downloads and make sure that downloads directory is getting uh, scanned and it's waiting for changes on the directory. So what I'm going to do is, um, these are the default files to be monitored. These are the 32-bit programs that needs to be monitored. You can see the frequency and all. Um, these are the Windows registry entries to monitor. Again, uh, this is to ignore. This is the data synchronization and here it ends with the system check. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to add this here. Basically what I'm doing is 
I'm using the directories. Check all is yes. Uh, who data is yes. And the location, which is going to be the downloads folder, which is that's going to be my directory that I'm going to uh, look for any changes in the directory. So what I'm going to do is basically save the file. So the configuration has been updated. And what we do, basically we go, we stop the agent and then we start the agent. You can also use restart. So what we did right now is basically we enabled um, a particular directory to monitor under the FIM, which is file integrity monitoring under the Wahoo's agent. Now, what we need to do is basically enable the module of virus total so that any suspicious files in our download directory can be scanned with virus total to let us know whether that file is suspicious or not, whether it contains any uh, any signatures of malware or antivirus, we will come to know that. So if you go to, um, in the Wahoo's, you go to settings and you click on modules. One thing like Wahoo's can be integrated with a number of different modules, uh, like instant management, you can do alerting modules like this. You can integrate with a lot of different modules. And uh, what we're going to do right now is the enable of the virus root, which you see here. So with uh, that enabled, let us quickly save this configuration. Right. So now if you go back to your agents, um, what I did is basically um, I put a virus file in the downloads folder. So for example, Just a minute. So what we did is basically we put a ICAR file. This is a test uh, virus file that that's been provided by the European uh, Cybersecurity Nonprofit Organization. So immediately when we added this file, uh, you can see our agent is active right now. Um, so what we can do is basically we can click on the uh, agent status. We will have all the details here. You can see the file integrity monitoring the recent event, which is basically it's pointing to that ICAR file, which says it's added and the file added to the system. And you can further dig down um, to find out if it found any, any such file. Like if you go to the security events, So it found a lot of security events, like go to the security events. Yeah, mostly what we are looking for is uh, the data from uh, virus total. So the thing we are going to monitor is for the file integrity monitoring. So they're like level 12 and above alerts. So you can see the virus total alert here. Detected this file. See our download. This is an execution file. So this is how detection works in, in Wahoo's. So what you did is basically first we configured the Wahoo's agent to look for a specific file or a directory. And then we enabled the virus total as a module and virus total is um, like it does community virus file scanning and let, lets us know whether the file is suspicious or not. And we are able to detect that the file is suspicious, which is the ECAR file, which we downloaded from the uh, European community uh, page. Now, since the suspicious file has been detected, what we can do is basically as part of a response, you can go to that file, uh, right click on the file and you can do scan with Windows Defender, which is the native 
uh, Windows solution for malware remediation. And what you do is basically you can do a particular uh, quick scan or full scan, custom scan. So I'm going to do a custom scan for this particular video. So I'm going to select the downloads folder and let's do this. Yeah, we will remove this exclusion of .exe. Okay, now um, let's go back. Custom scan to the downloads folder. Scan now. So let's give it some time. Let it do the quick scan. So we go to the threat history and this is the last scan. You can see it did not find any such alert on the files. So let's go back. Let's remove this exclusion also because C folder is in the downloads. So there, there are no exclusions right now. So there we go. We have the file uh, that's found. So we can do take start actions and we can automate the entire process between the Bahus and uh, and Microsoft uh, Defender. So whenever such files are detected, what we can do is we can use uh, Windows Defender as an action tool to take the remediation of basically quarantine the file or delete the file or whatever it is. Now you see the file is gone, like um, it, it's removed because it's a threat file. So it, it gets removed. So I hope this video gave you a concept or basic functionality on how the EDR solutions work. How easy is it to integrate different solutions and bring it to an EDR system? So Wahoos is one of the widely used open source EDR solution, but there are many other uh, commercial products. So do your research and find out the best product to learn. And I hope this video is informative. Thank you so much for watching it. Stay tuned for more videos. Until the next video, happy learning.